Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist. Uh, about 64 degrees right now. It's not even 7 o'clock yet. So, it's going to be really hot today. So decided that I'd get a early start before it got too bad. And uh, just to see uh, what insects are out and about. So, hopefully we'll see some good stuff. Alright, so here we have an absolutely beautiful dogbane beetle. First one of the year. But when they come out, they're usually pretty good. Especially around my grandparents here, there's a really nice population of them every year. In my opinion, one of the most beautiful beetles in North America. Definitely probably the most beautiful beetle in Wisconsin. I mean, you just can't beat that coloration right there. So, really glad I'm able to find one of those this morning. All right, so down here we have a firefly. Really beautiful coloration there. I don't know a specific species. Really awesome. Seen a lot of fireflies this summer, so really glad about that. Alright, so here we have a uh, Bombus Vagans enjoying uh, some dogbane that's blooming right now. There it is. Going about its business, or her business. It's always a nice time of the year because when the milkweed and dogbane are blooming, it's like a boon of insect activity and you see some really cool stuff on them. All right, so spotted something underneath this leaf here. Of course, it dropped. Mm. There we go. Really beautiful caterpillar there. And as I was means that a caterpillar I spooked up this common wood nymph here. It looks like a dull species, but they're quite breed they're quite beautiful.
And you can see actually this moth actually got stuck in the flower of the milkweed. And sometimes it does happen. You can see an ant there. Uh, taking advantage of the situation. Pretty sweet to see. And if we go down to here, let's see there we have a Tetropius tetrothalamus. Weed longhorn beetle. So we have a species of lady beetle up there. So I highly, highly recommend if you have milkweed blooming where you are, go check it out. You'll find tons of insects at them. And there's so much milkweed around here right now, it's ridiculous. But the clouds are starting to break up now. I think the sun's gonna show itself and with that, the insect activity will uh, skyrocket and hopefully find some more good stuff. Well, here you can see the uh, unfortunate aftermath of uh, Butterfly meets vehicle. The beautiful uh, eastern uh, comma. For many collectors, though, and myself included, uh, roadkill insects offer a different method of uh, collecting. If I find the specimens that are in good condition from roadkill, I pick them up and I keep them and put them in my collection. I have no problems with that. And of course, others only collect roadkill specimens because that's how they do it. And that's perfectly fine. You get to find some pretty interesting stuff if you actually look. Still unfortunate to see though. But that's how it is. Alright, so we got a really beautiful uh, species of hair streak here. Perfect condition. Just chilling on the sleeve here. The sun is uh, out now. So I'm just taking a little stroll down the road. And uh, see what's out. All right, so here we actually have a species of grasshopper that I don't come across too very often. Um, I think this is a Coaltus conspersa. I probably just totally butchered that name. But I am gonna definitely try and catch this one. It is quite a beautiful species, really dark, that really nice black 
uh, bold line on the side there. And it looks like I just actually just lost it. Uh, hopefully I can find it again. All right, here we got a nice milkweed here with a great spangled frigoberry on it. Really beautiful, large, orange, black species. There's actually another butterfly on there with it as well, but that one flew off. There's a couple of hair streets and skippers flying around me right now. But uh, hopefully a couple will find their way on that milkweed here. Switching plants. See there, got a couple skippers there. Another just flew in. Well, looks like we had a dun skipper, a broad wing skipper on that one. Then there's a hair streak on there as well. You can kind of see it there, behind that leaf there on the top. Oh, now we're going back to this one. And there's a couple skippers on there now. It looks like those are done skippers, as far as I can tell. Got some Roselle's Katie Dids buzzing here in the background. Oh, we got a hair streak show up there now. So as you can see, it can be pretty lively out of milkweed flowers. All right, so we actually have a couple uh, white admirals flying around here, enjoying some uh, dog bane as well. Got one there, and one right here. These are in the genus uh, Limonetus, related in the same genus as the Viceroy, and the Red Spotted Purple, and other admirals. Really beautiful butterflies. Always awesome to see him around flying. And really glad the uh, dog bane's blooming because it makes it a lot easier to film them. All right, everybody. I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Saw some uh, excellent stuff over the weekend. It's just getting hot as blazes out right now. So, 
filmed a decent amount, I think. I collected some excellent stuff over the weekend. And, uh, I think that's going to be this one. Quick reminder that the uh, National Moth Week 2022 is going to be starting here really, really soon. Uh, I think it starts the 23rd of July. Um, <clears throat> I just made a black lighting video, and I'll be going up on the first day of Moth Week. I'm um, just showcasing moths and stuff. Um, I'll probably do a live stream during Moth Week as well, and maybe another video or two just showcasing some moths in the collection. So, if you haven't, get prepared for Moth Week. Turn on your porch lights. Just uh, go observe uh, what moths you can see in your area. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we definitely leave a like, subscribe would be awesome, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.